it's a big day today i always told myself doing youtube i said i wasn't gonna buy a camera until youtube paid for the camera so like once i got monetized and stuff and if you couldn't notice by the ads on my videos i'm monetized and i've saved up enough to buy a camera <laughs> And I'm so excited and we're here at Best Buy to get a camera and I can't believe it. I'm probably going to cry. You're probably like, what the heck? Your phone looks good, but the front camera doesn't look good. This is the back camera and it does look good and it's gotten me through whatever I needed, but it's time. I can't believe I just got a camera. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I got a camera. I can't believe how expensive they are. I can't wait to show Ernie. <laughs> oh my god. I got the classic Canon G7X. Look at my little unboxing. <laughs> I can't wait to pay to make so many videos for you guys. And they're going to look so much better. Because when I flip to the front camera, it starts to look like garbage. And now, oh, they're going to be so crisp. That's it. I love you guys. Thank you for this. This is all because of all of you. You're seriously the best. I just want my camera to charge. I'm so excited. I can't believe I got a camera. It doesn't feel real or like I deserve any of this. I keep telling Brandon that. Like, why me? Why is this happening? You guys probably think I'm being dramatic, but I don't know why. It just seems like the biggest deal to me and like the greatest thing. And... I'm just so happy, like genuinely happy. I think Brandon and I are gonna go to this little carnival by our house. It's the grossest place ever, but we like the like carnival lemonade when they just like put a bunch of sugar and like a lemon in a cup and then they're like call it lemonade. crazy okay i have to look at the the little <laughs> okay that's so i'm sorry i'm being obnoxious i can't believe i have a vlog camera this is so insane to me i let it sit at home and charge i oh my god seeing myself it's like cringy though <laughs> um i let it sit at home and charge all day uh, as you guys saw, we went to the carnival today, we did, uh, we went to Ann Arbor, a little, like, town or city by my house. I don't know. This is so crazy. I don't ever want to put it down. I just want to keep recording. <laughs> oh, you guys probably think I'm such a dope, but I don't even care. Hi, Deaf Ernie. Hi, Deaf. He wants this. So, for breakfast today, I have almond milk yogurt with some like nut mix from Trader Joe's, banana, blueberries, and then I just made a coffee with almond milk. So I'm on my way to Melinda's like finding a wedding dress. I almost called it a dress fitting, but no. She's just looking for wedding dresses, looking at wedding dresses. She doesn't get married for another year. So I'll see you guys. I'll probably get some shots in the wedding store. What is it called? Bridal boutique? I don't know. I'm not getting married. Yeah, Grand Haven. So we have three hour drive with Ern. I'm being a health queen right now. We just stopped at Taco Bell. That's fast. Yeah, I know. At Chips and Guac. And then 
the power thing, al fresco, and then beans instead of meat. We made it to the apartment. Since nobody lives here, it's just empty, but Ernie still went crazy excited. He's looking for Izzy, Catherine, and Sandra, though, and they're not here. Look how gross it looks. Like, mm. So my parents, well, I just ordered them a pizza, and it's like literally in the complex, so I'm gonna take Ernie for a walk and go and grab it and bring it back. But I can't eat any of it, so I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow because I have nothing else to say. Yeah, but Ernie's really hot, so we just found some shade and we're sitting in a picnic bench thing. But he's doing really well. He only barked at one lady because she touched his rash. And that's like pretty good for Ernie because he's a nervous boy. Um, we're here until five and then I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll find some place we can eat with Ernie sitting with us outside. That Ernie can sit at and that I can eat at. You were sweating too. I'm I so said sweating. I was sweating. Hot. Okay, bye. The heat blasting right now in the car. So if it's hard to hear me, I'm sorry, but Ernie is just so freaking hot. It's too hot for him here. So I think Ernie and I are just gonna um, drive to the apartment and chill out there for like two hours, let Ernie relax. Oh yeah, he's cashed, look at him. We're gonna hang out there and then I'll come back later tonight when it's a little colder or cooler because it's just too much for him and I don't want to put him through this and make him hate it. So I just drove back to the apartment with just Ernie. He's so tired and being so precious. Hello, I'm gonna talk to you guys today. Uh, we were just at the art show all day. Not all day, it's only like 1.30. And Ernie and I, the same thing, we came home because it's just too hot for him. He's literally already knocking out. This lighting's garbage. Um, but I didn't eat there for breakfast. I had like this little like oat bar thing. And then, being the health queen vegan, that I am, I got Arby's french fries, because they're the best french fries, and a large Coke Zero. So I'm gonna eat this and just chill out here with Ernie, and we'll go back to the art show around like four or five. <laughs> It's gross. <laughs> 